Okay, so for this part of the question, we're given the probability distribution table for the discrete random variable x and asked to find out what the value of a is. And to do this, what we've got to remember is that the sum of the probabilities must total 1. So basically then we've just got that 1 fifth plus the 1 tenth plus the 1 fifth, just take those three probabilities there, plus the two a's comes to 1. And if you add up 1 fifth, 1 tenth and 1 fifth, that comes to a half. Take away a half from both sides and you end up with 2a equals 1 minus a half, which is a half. And so therefore, if you divide both sides by 2, you get a is a quarter or 0.25. Okay, so that's part A. Now in part B, they ask us to write down what e of x is. And normally you would expect to work out what e of x is. Normally it is sigma, the sum of your x values times your probabilities. Minus 1 times a fifth, and 0 times an a, and so on. Just add them together. But when it says write down for one mark here, it means that obviously the answer is meant to be obvious. And indeed it is. If you work this out, you'll find that you end up with the 1 here. But why is it obvious? It's because the distribution is symmetrical. You've got exactly the same value on both ends here, the fifth and the fifth. And then as you come in from the ends, you've got a and a. And you've got this central value of one tenth. So the distribution is symmetrical. So the answer will be just one. Okay, e of x equals one. You don't really need to write this down, just simply e of x equals one. But try it. You'll see that you'll get one. Now for part C, you've got to work out the variance of x. And you should know that the variance of a random variable x from a discrete distribution table is given by e of x squared minus e of x, all squared. Now we know what e of x is, it's the one we've just worked out. But what about e of x squared? Well we need to work that out first of all. and you should know that e of x squared is equal to the sum of sigma of your observed values squared multiplied by the corresponding probability. So for something like this, you've got to work out minus 1 squared and multiply it by the fifth. And then because of the sigma here means to add, we need to do 0 squared times a, which is clearly going to be 0. And then I'll, I'll leave that out, OK? But then we've got to do 1 squared multiplied by the 1 tenth plus 2 squared multiplied by the value for a. Well, a, remember, we worked out was a quarter. And then finally, 3 squared multiplied by the one fifth. Okay, so we just squeeze that in there. And if you work that out, you'll find that you get 31 over 10. So we can put our ideas together now and say that therefore the variance of the random variable x is equal to e of x squared, which is 31 over 10, minus e of x, which is the 1. 1 squared though, still comes to 1, I know. But 31 tenths then, take away one whole one, leaves you with 21 over 10. And there's your answer then for part C.